Welcome to Street Stunning, and today we're putting in the fuel tank. Finally, hopefully this is the last time I have to take this thing apart. And yeah, yeah. what else? That's it. So I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod and kind of show you guys kind of how it goes. So these are my, this is my return line. And then this is my feed. And this is like an extension piece or whatever. But I'll put these in. Last time I tried doing it, I ended up ripping this guy. I pinched it and it got cut. So I'm gonna try to avoid this this time or avoid that. But we'll see how it goes. You guys in in a little bit. Let me set the shit up. All right, guys. That's the opening. This is where the crossover pipe goes. The pipes or the hoses that are inside the crossover pipe go in here. I got both rings. I don't know if you guys can see. Whoa. Got both rings. You got the. Oh, that's not gonna work. Got the yellow one and got the plastic oh, one. O rings. Sheesh. They're rubber, ain't they? Yeah, well, two, two of them are rubber and then one of them is. So two of them are rubber. The yellow ones are rubber and then the, the other, the black ones are plastic. But I think what that does is it, it puts pressure so it like creates a once you put the actual like a yeah like once you put the actual uh, hose in it it keeps that o-ring from moving that's what I'm assuming so the green one green bluish one goes in first let me loop this up a little bit so she slides in <laughs> okay boom that's that's nice right there and then my fuel's gonna have oil in it but it's all right um then this one goes in next it's like a thin one and it looks the same to be in it looks the same on both sides, so I don't think it matters how this one goes. Just lube her up. I don't know exactly what you're supposed to use, but I'm using oil. You can use whatever you want. You can use some... Some... Uh, KY. KY Jelly. Whatever you want to use. And that one goes in there. Cheers. Bam. And you want to make sure you do this inside of here. Don't do what I did last time and put it in the crossover and expect it to go in nice and smooth. Because <laughs> it's not. <laughs> You're going to end up pinching these like I did the other one. Just, I'm doing just... Lubing it, same thing. I've heard of some people using petroleum lube or some shit like that. But, I'm gonna use oil. Petroleum? Yeah, and then this one goes in next. I don't think it matters what way it goes. It's the same on both sides. Boom, nice. Now this one, this one is the tricky one. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's got like a, on this side, it, it's got like a flare right there. You can see right there, look. 
this side doesn't have it this side's just flat it's just the flat all the way so you want to make sure you put the this part to the outside like this so when you put the crossover pipe it like slides in there and it, it creates a nice a nice bond And it helps it, you know, go go into the right place. Well, okay, so I'm not sure how this is going to work because I think this one's a tight fit. Okay, we're putting it in right. Yep. So this one's supposed to go in there like this. As so. Oh. Uh, it's not going in anymore. Houston, we have a problem. Holy smokes. She's not sliding in no more. Huh. Is it not supposed to? Yeah, it has to. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, hold on. Did I put it in right? Ooh, I almost put it in backwards, guys. Oh, no. Ooh, that's a write-up. That's a write-up. Going in all the way. Good, don't use that. Oh no, like that song. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. I don't break this. There we go. Got it? Kind of. Like goes in from one side and then pops out of the other side. Well, anyways, you guys get the idea. You gotta make sure you put that in. Well, I'll get back to you guys when I do this. Yeah, yeah. When it's all the way in. All right, guys. So we finally got her in. Um, make sure you don't push too much, or because I, I what I did is I grabbed like a, a PVC pipe and put it right here and hit it with the hammer. And when I did that, I pushed it too much, and this ring actually popped up. Uh, so I backed it out and put it back in there, but make sure you don't do it too much. It's got these grooves inside the, the tank, and it's so when you put the crossover, you won't pinch all this. It, like, stops it from pushing, you know, stops from squeezing all this together. So there you go. So now the next step is to put it inside the car, connect these uh, lines that go to the motor, the feed and the return, and then we'll attempt to put the crossover. Oh yeah, don't forget to connect these. And, and the 
actual the actual tool I, or not the tool but the part that goes in here because apparently the wild racing uh thinks it's okay to put zip ties instead nice. of the actual part so note to self don't take your car to do wild racing because they'll just do hacks like this it's a five dollar part but they decided to use a zip tie all right guys next step has race car the Az Corvette. Going a thousand horsepower in La Chingala. Está. Ah, I love you. <laughs> My son just comes to opens the garage door and he says, Pa, I love you. So now we're gonna connect this guy. This guy goes in first. Oh no. We connect this guy first because then I won't have access. We got that one in. Gotta be real careful with these stainless steel lines. Gotta make sure you don't use wrenches until it's all the way tight because you can cross thread these really easy. Gotta be dead center. Put this one on next. All right, guys. So the tank is up. Connected the lines. Um, the one thing I have to do is plug all these in, but I won't do that till I know for sure it's a done deal. Uh, so this is the crossover. Some of you guys that don't know or never seen it or are curious how you do it. Let me get this light out so you guys can see a little better. So if you see in there, if I do both. See those are the lines that go inside the tank. And they have to go in perfectly straight. Or it won't work. So basically what happens is once it goes in slide this guy down somehow you slide it down and then you twist it and then this guy just goes into it just like locks it into place so it doesn't move it again and that's pretty much it but I'll show you guys right now once we get closer to that process right now I'm gonna take those screws off I'm hoping it's not full of fuel and then go from there. I need more space because this is this is so hard. Like it's it's a stiff. Like it's hard. That's what she said. But anyways, tune you guys in right now. Okay, guys, I've been having problem with this, and it goes in, but I I just couldn't figure out why this wouldn't snap into place. But when I took this out, I pried on this with the pry bar. And what I did is there's a ring 
there's a metal ring around here and I pulled this far back over here so when I would slide it in it wouldn't this wouldn't reach all the way until I looked up some pictures on the internet to see how they how they are and this has to be right this has to come all the way to there so if yours ain't coming all the way up to this bubble part right here then you pull it out and you got to push it in so like I said I've been having crazy trouble I'm like I, I just couldn't understand why it wouldn't go in but let me see because there's nobody on the internet that shows this let me see if I can show you guys like I said maybe this will help somebody down the road because there's nothing on the internet nobody's fucking done this let's see if I can put Oh, man. I can't do it. Oh, like this. Bam. Okay. So what you do is you put this sucker in like this, but you want to hold it right here. You don't want to push it in. And you want to get it straight. And then it should just go in. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like it didn't go in all right there it went in so now all you do is you spin this you spin that onto there and it's in make sure because there's three of them you gotta make sure they're in all three of them can't see the top one All you gotta do there's this rubber one or plastic one and just pop that into place right there and that keeps it from from popping out down the road or whatever you hit a bump Could have been done with this hours ago. Hours ago. Oh. Does it just have one? It does just have one. Now. This has one? Nah. Boy, I can't believe it. It's in. You don't understand, guys. I was ready to give up. I'm ready to just put the cradle and drop it off at a shop. <laughs> but it won't do it right, so it's kind of pointless. So I guess all you gotta do is make sure this one is in and it won't pop out. But maybe, just wanna make sure it's all the way in. I 
I don't know how I popped that out the first time, but she's in. And I go nowhere. Well, that looks like it's done. Oh, I forgot the vacuum. Vacuum line up here or breather or whatever. Great. Should have did that one first. <laughs> Oh, she's in. The hell? So you gotta make sure you connect this breather. That's in, that's in. Oh boy. Can't believe it. She's done. Put this guy over here. Whoa. Ow, <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> well, anyways, you screw this in. You screw this in, that guy in, and then you put your holes in there. Oh, I pinched my glove. And then it keeps it up there. Screw it in. Where's my tool? Oh, oh wrong way, fool. She's in. Don't mind this, this is nitrous line. Okay, so I kind of ended the video a little prematurely and I didn't show you guys how exactly to finish this off. Um, basically, after you connect these lines, hoses, this is the uh, feed and then this is the return and they all go in there Obviously they connect to the fuel hat And then this is the breather and this you know that line connects to there and The way this fuel tank stays up in place is you got a bolt right there And you got another one over there way over there So you got two on this side then you got three on this side. One right there, one right there, and one over there. And then and that's pretty much it. That's how it stays in place. That's all you really need. But like I said, I ended the video a little prematurely and I didn't show you guys how to do, how to like actually finish. But it's finished now. Um all these wires are connected. I just gotta put some wire loom because they didn't even bother putting wire loom. I'm gonna put wire loom and uh, zip tie all this stuff and put it in a good location. Um, but it's like 10 degrees out here, so I'm not trying to do it today. But that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. We'll continue with the video. So there you go, she's ready for BAB. Get a little turbo. Wanna be calling out people on Instagram. What do we call that, Mikey? What do we call that, Mikey? Net bangers? Net bangers? <laughs> Net bangers. 
Behind the keyboard. Then that banger is going to be careful with them. Oh. Okay, so we're done with that. All I got to do is plug in my wires. Boom, boom. These guys. And then plug in this one too. And this guy right here. Make sure I uh, place the zip tie. Replace it with the actual fitting. So, and then put this guy in there. And I'm done. But as of right now, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go help my brother in law. But, uh, oh, this is upside down. Great. Well, I don't know how that came out, but it's out. I think that will end the video. Thanks for watching. If you learned anything subscribe if you know anybody that can learn something from this tell them to subscribe and be careful with them net bangers they're quick on the keyboard see you guys <laughs>